June 6, D-Day. I'm Max Brantley to talk to you a little bit about what's on the Arkansas blog at arctimes.com today. Uh, the big news in Arkansas, apart from continuation of storms, I guess, is the annual Walmart shareholders meeting in Fayetteville. Huge gathering, much enthusiasm, hand-picked workers, happy shareholders. The big news was uh, CEO Doug McMillan, who's an Arkansas native, talking about the future for the company. And I think the two big takeaways were, one, the company's need dramatic need to move more into digital commerce to become more like Amazon. And he also talked about improving a lot of Walmart workers and making advancement more possible. That addresses something that's caused him a lot of trouble with, with unions and others in the, in the workforce. Uh, there was one Walmart related item uh, far from Fayetteville, and that's in Faulkner County where a heck of a scrap is developing over a petition drive for alcohol sales. Walmart is financing these, out, these drives because, of course, they'd like to sell beer at all their stores. There's an immense amount of opposition from, from religious leaders in Faulkner County, including Senator Jason Rayford. But the real opposition is coming from Conway County, where the monopoly liquor dealers who are just across the county line want to keep that monopoly and don't want to see it come to neighboring Faulkner County. We, we learned today that Jason Rayford, who's been leading this opposition, in Faulkner County has gotten something like $13,000 from liquor dealers in Conway County, which tells you a little bit wh about where his heart really is in his wallet, not in his Bible. Uh, elsewhere, uh, eight people have taken up UAMS's offer for an early retirement incentive to pay her costs at the med school. It won't begin to cure the financial problems that are facing the state's medical center, and they have a real problem. School choice, uh, that's another topic on the blog today. I urge you to take a look. It's failed in New Orleans. It's coming to Little Rock. I propose some fairly dramatic ideas about coping with it here. Perhaps a charter school laboratory in the Little Rock School District for one, maybe state takeover for another. And that'll do it for Friday.